Hello everyone, my name is Hush and a very warm welcome to all of you in this block state management course and as discussed uh, we will be talking about qubits in this video or we will be writing some codes using qubits in this video okay now uh, as you can see I have installed a package here okay so you can simply open your favorite ID either you are using Android Studio VS Code or Xcode or any another thing uh, you can just install this block package okay actually it is available for VS Code for now in Android Studio so you can install it by simply searching block here in these extensions and you can install it uh, what it will do is it will create some of our work easier uh, we will be using it throughout the course so there are some demonstrations about uh, what it can do for us so it can create qubit and block for us for now I am assuming that you don't know much about qubit and block so just ignore that it provides us wrappers functionality around our normal widget so when we press ctrl shift r it provides us a feature to use block builder selector and stuff for now ignore those two and some more things are there so for now let it be so let's move to the code or actually I will be creating a new project here so simply press ctrl shift and P and select flutter new project or you can simply click on this menu click on this command palette it will open the same and click on this flutter new project and for now I am selecting the application because I want the default app and I am just selecting the folder I like now let's give a name to the project so I can say qubit demo okay and simply hit enter so this is just a simple application that is provided by flutter that is in counter app so i just remove the comments and i can just even collapse some code to avoid some complexity so like this okay so what this application mainly contains uh, this application have a build function okay inside this there is an app bar located here uh, there is a body which includes this you have pushed the button this many times and a text variable which includes that counter variable okay so there is a counter variable simply defined here integer okay and on every press of this floating action button it is incrementing the value by one so what happens is when we press this function actually this increment counter is called and it increments the value and then it uses set state which is inbuilt solution okay to update the value if I just comment this and press control save and now if I click on this now you will see state is not updating but actually this value is changing if I just go to IDE and press control save you will see this is updating because when we press control save this build function is executed so actually I will be using a log here simply like log and this uh, dot developer one so simply import it and after that I can print a message here for example the value of counter so simply like this underscore counter and I can use even a name tag for it so I can just say counter okay so simply like this now if I just open the terminal by pressing ctrl shift tilde you can see there is a value called as counter 6 now I'm just gonna uncomment this one again counter 6 and if I press on this it's 7 so now we want to use qubit or block in this project so what we do uh, we first need to import the dependency in our pubspec.yml so either you can simply go to the browser and copy this code snippet from here this flutter block we just need to import that and it will take care of importing block and provide a dependency for us so we can just go here and simply there is too much comments here so we can ignore those uh, below this cupuccino icons I will paste this and simply control save and it will start downloading the package or you can click on this so I will terminate the app and I will rerun the app okay to take place these changes so I don't want to use this set state for updating the screen rather what I will do is uh, I will create a qubit here so I can just right click on lib and you will see there are two options to create a new qubit and to create a new block this is because the extension we installed so for now I am not gonna use this one we will use it in future for now I am manually gonna create it so I can just call it my counter qubit okay so this is a simple naming convention that we follow uh, the functionality kind of thing and then qubit so if it is a block use block okay so simply hit enter so inside this qubit we will create a class uh, which we named the file counter qubit and which will extend qubit so simply you can see there is an option of qubit and simply hit enter okay so it will import flutter block for us 
and simply like this and with this we created a qubit but it is throwing an error the error says the superclass qubit dynamic does not have a zero argument constructor uh, for now let's hover on it and simply press control and dot and it will suggest us to create a constructor to call super okay and with this the error is gone now actually when we create a counter qubit instance we need to pass a initial state now what is state so state is something which represent the current condition of the application so what do i mean by current condition for example the current condition says the value of counter is zero okay uh, in our context in this application when we click on this the value should be one so that is our state to be maintained so every time you create a qubit or a block you have to pass away a state and for now the type of the state which we need to pass is a dynamic now why dynamic because we haven't specified any type so in our case since we want a integer type state so what we can do is we can mention it here in this two brackets simply like int in this context if you hover on this it will say it is maintaining a state of type int and we need to pass that state while creating the qubit so for now let it be let's move to the main dot that and we create a qubit so what i will do is i will simply create a qubit here so final and i can call it qubit okay is equals to and i can simply write counter qubit so i need to import counter qubit and i have to pass a initial state so in our context the first initial state is zero and with this we created a qubit okay now let me collapse this one let me just go it like this now since we successfully created a qubit how to use it so how we can so if you just go it like this you just use this qubit dot and you will see there are many functions in this qubit one of the important function is a state okay so a qubit contains its state the current state of the application and there is something called a stream so as we discussed in the last video uh, block is mainly dependent on streams so we can use that stream so for now i just want to use this state okay so what i will do is i will just go here and instead of this counter i'm just commenting this one out so it will throw an error so what should we show here uh, we can use something like this qubit dot state okay which will print the current state of the application and which is zero for now and we go down and we can write like qubit dot state okay so are we done uh, and let's go up here we also need to update the state so we can do it like let's try like qubit dot state so simply like plus plus and it will throw me an error so if you hover on it it is saying me you can't update state value like this because it is a getter function and if you know about getters and setters well and good and if you don't know to keep it simple uh, we can't update it because it is just a function which is returning a value and by updating the returned value we can't change the original variables value okay so it might seem like a reader but let it be okay now we can't update it so what we can do with it so actually we can't access it here we need to create something here so can we update it here so let me create a function here for now increment counter and inside this uh, since we are in the qubit we can simply access state we don't need a instance okay so we can simply write state because it is actually an instance and if we do plus plus here does it work nope it will not work so what we can do is we can emit a new state or we can pass a new state okay and i have written a statement here that state is immutable which means a state is always final we can't change the current state but we can always pass a new state okay so how we pass a new state so we actually use a emit function to pass a new state to the qubit and we say the new state will be current state plus one which is incremented so this will do the increment for us we just need to call that function so for now i am gonna comment this and i will just move here and instead of this i will just use my qubit dot uh, the function i created increment counter now if i press control save and open the terminal uh, what you will see is 0 0 0 because the default value of qubit is 0 and if i click on plus nothing changes 
now if i just go to qubit and i even use a log here okay simply this dot dot developer once and i just print the state value and simply a control save now you will see the value is already one but it is not updating on the screen so if i press the state is changed as we can see here okay but the value is not updating on the screen now how we can make it update so we actually need to wrap this text widget with any one of the block widget now what are those block widgets we will cover it in future for now simply press ctrl shift r and we will use a widget called as block builder so we can simply use it like this and now it is expecting a block here and it is expecting a state here so in our case uh, since we are using a qubit we will write counter qubit you have to listen for the changes in counter qubit and for what state uh, so since we have already mentioned in this case the state is integer okay so what we will do is we will simply write a int here and we need to import block builder okay and now you can see the state is also being passed here so we don't even have to write this qubit extra here and we can just simply remove this unnecessary parenthesis but there will be a small issue we need to pass the qubit to this block builder or else it will throw an error what i am saying is if i press ctrl save it is giving me an error and if i just scroll up it is saying me when you use a qubit or a block builder either you should use a provider to provide that state uh, which we will cover in future or you can simply pass it like this okay so what i am saying is for now simply use a block here and we need to pass that qubit okay block and qubits are totally interoperable which means one can be used in another place and another can be used in its place so that's why they are same but there is a little difference which we'll be covering in future so for now save and this time i think i need to just restart the app and now if i press this you will see inside qubit is 1 and the counter is 0 you will see inside qubit is 2 and the counter is still 0 now why this is 0 uh, that's the beauty of state management what is happening here is when we press on this button what happens is uh, this internal variable got updated it updates the state inside this block builder and this build is never executed again which means all these widgets are never built again when we use set state even if we are changing just this integer we need to update the whole screen we need to execute the whole build function but when we use a external state management it only updates the widgets we wrapped with that particular thing okay so i hope a little bit things are clearer to you why we require state management rather than just using set state randomly okay now to summarize it up uh, we just created a counter qubit instance here and we were initially passing a state to it and if you don't want to pass a state like this uh, we can just simply use a super keyword here and we can by default pass a state so initial state will be zero so whenever we create a qubit we don't have to pass it okay so we just created a counter qubit instance with integer as a state if i write a string here uh, it will treat it as a string so it will suggest me since you have mentioned string you can't pass int and we can also use some custom models here uh, which we will be covering in future for now let it be int okay and if i don't mention anything it will be dynamic in nature so dynamic works for everything but i don't follow it so now we created a increment counter and this emit function is important so whenever we want to do a change in a state we call the emit function provide the new state and it updates for us okay so this is a quite an important function and in main what we did is we create a qubit instance and as we go down we used a block builder here okay around the widget we want to update the state and we provided the type of qubit if you don't specify even it will work but it's always a good practice to specify it type of qubit and type of state and then we provide the qubit instance here and then we use that int state to update the state i know this sounds complicated you may wonder what this block builder does and what other things does but it's okay 
This is just a simple demonstration I try to give you of how to create a qubit and update the state. In the upcoming videos, we will even in the upcoming videos i will even create a video on just block builder just to demonstrate you how to use that and what other things are there so for now that's it for this video see you in the next video if you wish to and till then bye bye